Hey, hey everyone. So long time no see, but I'm still hanging in there. Um, yeah, so I really just would like to be like a bear and I would like to just hibernate and I don't want to come out until March when spring is here, but that's not human being. That's not how human being life work. I totally did not say that right. I promise y'all that I am educated and I know how to speak proper English. Anyways, I decided to end my um, year off with a final keto cooking video. So, I am going to make a breakfast dish, I'm going to make a dinner dish, and I'm going to make a dessert. So. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do first, show you all my ingredients, and then we'll get to it. Um, I'm gonna turn this over. But yeah, so I'm gonna make a breakfast casserole. So here you see I have my eggs. Um, I went to Aldi's today and I picked up these spinach and feta chicken sausage, which I'm gonna take out the casing and I'm going to um, ground this up and cook it i'm gonna add some peppers and onions and some spinach and then for dinner i'm going to make another casserole with some chicken and some broccoli and cream cheese and cheese and broth and then for dessert i'm going to make a snickerdoodle cheesecake so yeah this is kind of like what my day is gonna be like I've just been like feeling really down and sad and I haven't been like really on top of keto and so I put on two pounds which I mean I'm not really I'm gonna switch this back over I'm not really like like, oh, beating myself up because I put the two pounds, you know, on because I know that all I have to do is just get really strict with my eating and the two pounds will come off. So I know I wanted to end my year off at the 15 pound mark. So I literally have a week to get these two pounds off and I know I can do it. So it's back to counting my carbs and my protein and my fat and getting a little bit of workout in. And I know I can do it by the 31st, so. Anyways, stick around, and I'll see you guys in the next set. here and then I have whisked my eggs and I'm just trying to brown this just a little bit I don't necessarily need it like which actually I'm going to turn this off right now I'm going to transfer this into the egg mixture be right back okay so I'm back I put this together some of the spinach I just want to show you I kind of wilted it in the frying pan and then some of it I kind of left whole. So I'm going to get this in the oven. I put the oven on 350 degrees and I'm going to bake this for um, about 18 to 20 minutes. So I will see you then. Okay, so I'm back. I'm gonna start working on the next dish which is actually called like a chicken and asparagus bake. But I do not like asparagus, so I'm swapping that out with broccoli. But anyways, I have my seasoning, my onion powder, my curry powder, 
my cumin, my salt, and my pepper. I'm gonna use frozen broccoli, cream cheese that I have cut up in cubes. Um, I have my chicken right here in my sink. And yes, I did wash my sink out before I put the chicken in here and I wash my chicken off because I cannot stress enough. Wash your meat before you cook it. There's no way around it. Just wash your meat before you cook it. And I have cheese. Um, it, the recipe calls for like mozzarella, but I'm gonna use an Italian blend because I just like to use cheeses that I like. So I'm gonna work on getting this together. And ah, I'm dropping it down. So as you guys can see, there is some brownings from the sausage and the spinach still left in the pan and I want that. I want all that goodness to go into this dish as well. So I'm going to throw in some avocado oil and I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to let this avocado oil Oh, I got spinach like stuck down inside of here. I'm gonna let this avocado oil heat up a little bit. And my chicken is still a little bit frozen, but that's perfectly fine because I just want to brown the outside of the chicken because I'm going to finish cooking it in the oven. So this is like, yeah. like brown enough for me and so the chicken is still very raw on the inside but again I, I'm really worried I'm not worried about that too much because it's going to finish cooking in the oven and so I'm going to let this cool down for a bit and then I will chop it up into cubes okay i'm back so i'm going to start working on the sauce for this dish and it calls for a half a cup of chicken stock but i'm using chicken broth instead it calls for a half a cup of sour cream a half a cup of mayo some salt some pepper some curry seasoning um eight ounces of cream cheese and then it calls for a cup of the shredded cheese. So I'm going to get this incorporated and then I will be back. All right now. Hmm. Look at this. It looks delicious. I cannot wait because I'm actually going to eat a slice of this right now while it's hot because I'm hungry because I haven't had anything to eat since nine o'clock last night. Also, I forgot to tell you guys that I also was going to add some peppers to my chicken and broccoli bake. So these were in my deep freezer. So you know how it is like when you freeze peppers and you defrost them, how they get like soft and have a lot of liquid in it, which is I'm totally fine with that. But I'm just going to cook these until the liquid is completely 
gone. So I'm gonna let this liquid completely evacuate out of this and then I'm gonna work on the sauce. So I will see you in a few. And just like that, all the moisture is gone. And we have some really nice browned and the seasoning that was already in the pan. Hmm, you can taste it already. So I'm gonna transfer this to a bowl and then I'm gonna work on the sauce for real this time. Okay, so I am back and completely done. So, this is what we have here. And it looks really good, so. I am going to top this off with some more. This is the cheese that I use right here. I'm going to put the rest of this on top of this and then I'm gonna get this in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. So again, I will see you soon. All right, y'all. So last but not least, I'm going to begin working on my cheesecake. So, I just gotta get a few things. Um, some cinnamon and some baking soda, baking powder, sorry. Okay, so I have my crust mixture almost ready. So it is um, almond flour, cinnamon, baking soda, and I used a um, monk fruit sweetener. And then I have the butter and I'm gonna add the butter in here and then I'm gonna get this pressed down into the pan. I'm also gonna get this in the oven um, cause it needs to bake for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead on and do that. Okay, so here is the crust and it's pressed down and now I'm gonna get it in the oven. You better not use the old thing, baby. What the hell is your dumb ass Stuck him in there. You didn't. Well, yeah, right. She did. <laughs> how many minutes? Huh? I said, how many minutes? Okay guys, so I am officially done and it actually didn't take me forever. I think like a few hours and I'm done. So this is my cheesecake, fresh out the oven. This is gonna go in the refrigerator and chill for 24 hours, but of course I'm gonna let it completely cool down before I put it in the refrigerator. Um, dinner, as you can see, I took this little corner of dinner because I am hungry. I actually didn't eat any of the eggs, so I just put the top on this. Once this is completely cool, this will go on the refrigerator. Um, I made this big pan right here because it's just going to be me and my sister home for the Christmas break because my nieces are going to their grandmother. So this is enough food right here that will last us at least until like Wednesday. Um, I'm going to flip this back over. So, yeah. So this As you can is like hear, I'm kind of like right now. finishing with like uploading um, YouTube videos and then trying to catch up on some of my favorite people that I like to watch on YouTube. And so, yeah, I am. Oh, let me show you guys. I got to flip this back over. Let me show you what I have been working on. So tomorrow I am having a vision board party at my house. And I started working on mine. I, I think I want to um, get mine ready tonight. So that way tomorrow people can have something to reference over. But yeah, like I have my home. That's my goal for next year is to buy a new house and a new car. And of course fall in love and save money and travel and 
you know, get better with keto and exercising and just embracing, you know, being a black girl in America and loving my black skin and loving the person who I am and embracing my natural hair. And yeah, just being grateful for everything that I have. And so that's something that I am going to finish off tonight and then I'm going to um, proceed to clean the area where I'm gonna have the party at. It should be about 15 people. That's a lot of people that's gonna be in my house at one time. I've been living in this house for six years and try, I have never had more than two people in my house at a time. So this is something new, but it's gonna be great because we're gonna be helping one another. We're gonna be sharing success stories and tips and tricks that we all use to just get better and get ahead in life. So yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit tomorrow, but I doubt if I get around to it. We will see. So if this is the last video that I post before the new year, happy holidays to you all. You know, those that celebrate Christmas, those that celebrate Hanukkah, those that celebrate Kwanzaa, and I am one that celebrate Kwanzaa which I need to leave out right now and go get green, red, and black candles um, so I can be ready for this week and I need to set up my um, Kwanzaa altar. So yeah, you know, happy holidays to everybody and you know, a happy new year and I hope that these last days are spent with loved ones or you know, people that you were just happy to be around and so Again, I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit of my vision board party tomorrow, but if I don't, just know that I am so grateful for everyone that has subscribed to my channel. Even if you didn't subscribe and you watched some of my videos and you liked my video, I am grateful. For those of you that have shared my channel, I am grateful and I appreciate you. So I'm going to go ahead on and sign off. I'm gonna finish eating because I'm really hungry and then try to like clean. So yeah, I'll see you soon. Don't forget, like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel. Ciao.